For 51 years, the Community Health and Social Services Center in Detroit has been a destination for health and wellness care, and everyone is welcome. Anybody can come to our center. We have people from um, out, uh, Macomb County, Oakland County, from different areas because of the culture and the language. So about 70% of our patients prefer to speak Spanish over English. Dr. Valbuena, CEO of CHAS, says they offer a comprehensive array of primary health care and support services, from adult care to prenatal to pediatric to dentistry and beyond. A lot of people call us a one-stop shop. The goal of the center, improving the health of the entire community through affordable quality care. You know, we're still talked about as the best kept secret and uh, we're trying our best to, to have that not be, we don't wanna be the best kept secret. We, we, we feel that we're a model, not just in, in Detroit or in Michigan, but in the country. Their latest victory, securing an $80,000 grant from the Empowerment Foundation to bring a mammography machine to the center on a year lease. We have um, almost 3,000 women uh, that come to our center that are in the age group that would uh, benefit from breast cancer screening. We know from our experience that the community prefers to receive services in the community. The goal now is to fundraise to be able to keep the machine at the center for longer. The Empowerment Foundation is matching donations up to $40,000 through the end of the year. And while that mission is important, Dr. Valbuena says they're also focused on a more pressing task at hand, the fight against COVID-19. That right now is our biggest, biggest, biggest concern and uh, initiative and effort that we want to continue to push. Uh, for individuals in the community to please, please, please uh, come in and get vaccinated. And uh, if you still have concerns or issues, we're, we're, we'll be glad to sit with you and, and, and chat with you and, and give you the, the right information. Dr. Valbuena says about 50% of their patients are uninsured or underinsured, and they have a sliding payment scale for the services they provide. If you want to learn more about CHAS or donate, you can head to our homepage at WXYZ.com. For 7 Action News, I'm Alexandra Bahu.